Hello there everyone, and welcome to Airships. So, I decided that I'm going to do a, a little Let's Play series of this, because I'm addicted! I love this game! We're going to go with the default name it has, we're going to go with a large map, because that is a great map to go with. I'm fine with going with the extra lift, because I want to try to make, try to make some heavier ships in this series of mine. We'll see how well that goes. Let's get the game started. So, pause immediately, Oop. and do not click buttons because you do not use you do not use the uh, you don't you don't use Waz to scroll the map. Briefly forgot that. Kind of a habit. So we have one. We're stuck on a small little. I'm going to say peninsula because it might be a continent over here off the map. We got 60 income, which is decent enough. Spending a good amount on defense and fleets. Our current fleet has a rectifier and an insecticide. I don't believe I have used these ones before. Let's see, what do they have on them? This one is mainly mainly just rifles. So, good against lighter ships. Its armor is reinforced wood, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is reinforced wood. Which I can't actually use, because I don't have it. Huh. Alright, so it's got decent stuff. And the insecticide looks to be a bombing ship. Got grenades and that's it. Okay, so decent enough. Only this one's got steel armor. Hmm, steel. Okie dokie. <clears throat> so. Lots of people everywhere. I suppose the best option for me would be to invade the other cities on my peninsula, bring them under my control, and make certain that I am not too... well, make certain I'm more fortified. What kind of defenses do we have? We have rifles and rifles. Well, that's good enough, I guess. I want to move them a bit so they're more def more defensible <clears throat> and not so bunched up together. Because bunching them up just makes them an easier target for bombers. Okay. Edit landscape. I didn't even know that you could do that. It takes three dollars to, to add soil. I wonder if you can make an overhang. Nope, you have to go straight up. And removing also costs three dollars. Okay, so it's possible to make a small hole for your guys to be hidden under, but I don't think that's going to add any better defense to your to your little bunkers. Let's leave that, and I think the first thing we're going to do is send a spy to this city. I really should move my Fraps recording screen. Hold on a second. That's better. I moved my Fraps overlay from up here to down here. So let's let this thing run. And when we have the city infiltrated, we can actually see what bonus we will get if we conquer it. Oh! This one actually gives us targeting computers. That is a very advanced thing to get, but not much purpose for it. Very strange to get it from such a small city that adds so little income. Let's also send a spy here.
We have a few places that have been conquered already. Ah, here we go. Cannons. A fire has destroyed one of our towers. Blast. Well, let's build a new tower then. Yeah, it, built, it destroyed the tiny tower. That's not too bad. Build a building. We will go with... Mm, I want to go with the bigger one, but... Tiny tower is good enough. Okay. So we need to increase our income. Let's go after Hatwick first. As that gives it, will give us a total of 100 income. And let's build a ship. We just need some ship that is perfectly fine here. I, I, I built the cheapest ship I possibly could think of building. I could probably go cheaper, maybe, but this seemed cheap enough to me. Probably if I went with a rifle instead of a cannon. Yeah, they're called expendable ships. I'm sure the crew are not happy at that. Okay, so we have... I think this is stone walls. Armed with rifles. So they're going to be a bit of a pain. And unfortunately our bomber can't go any higher. Alright, so we should be throwing grenades down now. Yep. Good. Oh, just back up first before you go down. And now move you down here. And there we go. Speed up the battle bit. Oh, we have lost all lift. Thankfully, we were on an island. Well, above an island, so now we can be on top of the island. Out of ammo. Victory! Yes! We took massive damage. And let's go with a gentle takeover. We lost the insecticide, unfortunately. We still have the rectifier, which is better for defense than attack. And we are about to be invaded. Ah! Insecticide versus, or rectifier against rectifier. Well, this ought to be an interesting battle. You would think it would end in a draw, but I think that they're better at repairing, so. Let's see. I want to stay out of range of most of their guns, so we're going to fly over here, flip around, and start shooting at their tail end. We're going to fly over there. We're going to fly over there. There you go. That's going to keep us out of range of most of their guns. Until he flips around to shoot at us again. Oh, but it looks like we killed one of their gunmen. And we set one of their guns on fire. And we're defeated. Damn. <sighs> That's too bad. So we conquered a city, immediately lost it. Let's create, nope, not create, uh, build another ship. Let's go with a creosote. Darn it, they destroyed another defensive tower. Alright. Invade Hatwick again. Stop destroying things with fire. Should be a two versus one battle. We have cannons this time. And 
The armor on this ship is very, very bad. And they have no way of repairing anything. Well, they just have ammo. But it has the ability to get higher ground than my other ships, so we should be able to go fairly well. And let's go with aimed fire on the Creosote, because it has two cannons. Yep, and that one decided to sink out of sight. That's fine. Now we'll just drop down a little further. I think we've taken out their propeller. Nope, nope, we haven't. It's still functioning. Okay, let's move the expendable back a bit. Victory! Hopefully we did not lose the creosote. Oh, we lost the creosote. Well, I guess that's fine. We're going to go with a brutal takeover this time, just because it'll go faster. Although we take a bit of a hit for the income. We need to build another ship. Let's go with... We could go with the mutilator, but... It's a bomber. We don't want bombers. We want defenders. Eh, let's just go with another expendable. Fast to build. We can pump out expendable ships very quickly, which can give us a pretty good fleet, admittedly. Hmm. And for invasion, I think we're gonna, just going to go with building a tree bomb ship straight away. It's a slow ship to build, because it takes a lot of resources to do so. We also have no defenses here, so let's get another building set up. Just a simple turret. Just something to be there. We actually build ships very fast there. All this cheap stuff, anyway. Let's build another creosote, because those are actually fairly handy to have around. I'm still getting a good amount of income. But we should also start planning on conquering another continent. There's a lot up here, so most likely they'll be busy fighting amongst themselves. This guy has no one to fight against, and has already made an incursion onto the next continent. I think what I will go with is these guys. Pay them back for taking Hatwick from me. Let's move the creosote over to Hatwick. And as soon as there's the bomber here, we will go after Wombaton. <sighs> they destroyed my turret again. Let's see, what does this guy have? I could pay the spy to try to destroy the ship. I don't know how well that would work, but... We'll do that before we invade. It looks to be a fairly simple ship anyway. Just rifles. In fact, I probably could take it out with my creosote. Now let's start the invasion, and halfway here we will view the city, pay the spy to try to destroy this. Aha! And we should take over the city with no fight, because I have no defenses anywhere. 
And this one we will afford a gentle takeover. Now let's move another expendable ship over here to aid in keeping this place defended until we have it completely conquered. And now we have access to heavy cannons. Holy cow, this guy is on a roll! Oh my god! He's just wiping out everyone! I, I believe he may become my biggest opponent. Let's see, let's get a ship built. Looks like they are... Yeah, that's actually a fairly good city to take. Very cheap, cheap wood, so we can get our basic ships built pretty fast. Let's see. I think we will go with the Mutilator. It's a specialized bombing ship, not as powerful as the tree bomber, but strong enough to give us good support. Let's get a building built over here. We'll go with a redoubt, though it probably will get destroyed. I wonder how many times spies try to destroy things in my cities. All right, move the bo move the bomber over here, and leave the expendable behind to invade Fruchtenbach. Go invade Fruchtenbach. Alright, so they have two pretty strong towers, but honestly, not going to help them out too much. Now, the tree bomber, not a very light ship, so it has a very small range I can fly, but the amount of damage it can output is not insignificant. In fact, if we put this to rapid fire, most likely we will take down the ship very, very fast or this tower very fast. Mutilator can get started on bombing the next tower. Oop, we have lost a guy. You can see his blood everywhere in that room. Come on. Almost got it can't be too much left in here. Alright, you need to get moving over here. Oh, you dumbass! <laughs> That's the problem with the tree bomb. Most likely runs into low-flying islands, because you just can't avoid it. <laughs> ah, well. Let's set this guy up to rapid fire and can bring him down a little lower to make sure he's more accurate. And let's just speed this up to triple time. Victory is mine. Okay, I think that's going to do it for our first episode. We've managed to conquer a full continent, make an excursion onto the next one. I think next episode we will finish conquering this continent, and maybe we'll get into designing a new ship. Perhaps. There's not very many enemy fleets, but... Metepolis is looking like a bit of a threat on this island, having conquered a second city. 
Catwick or Fjordon, I don't know which city he started out with, but they, they have made progress. And Black Spire could be a big threat. Maybe. Honestly, probably not. So, hope you guys are will enjoy this series. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and favorite. I will see you in the next episode, whenever that may be. Take care, guys, and goodbye.